they're definitely a very good defensive team um, and keyed in on personnel. You know, I'm not really the type of player where I want to facilitate my own shot. So, um, you know, they've done a good job taking stuff away. And, you know, for the most part, just overall defensively, like they're, they're very key and they don't make a lot of mistakes. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, I go through worse stretches in the regular season. It just happens to be um, obviously, uh, you know, big games, big moments, but you have to continue to stay aggressive, um, continue to play with pace. And, and, you know, shoot the ball with confidence when you, whenever you have uh, room and rhythm looks. Tom Dowd with BrooklynNets.com. Hey, Joe. Steve referenced that maybe you guys really didn't get, it, didn't get into what you wanted to do offensively. Was there something you felt was missing on that end or, or something they kind of kept you out of getting into? Um, I mean, I, again, I think it's a little mix of, of both. They're obviously, you know, they played really physical. They have the entire series, but in particular today, it seemed like, you know, that was a point of emphasis, emphasis for them on both ends. You know, offensively, they're really trying to put their head down, get to their rim, and then defensively, you know, just being physical, forcing guys into the paint. Um, and, uh, you know, it took us out of our action a little bit. I thought that there were times, though, where we definitely, we got some good, good offense that was being run, but for the most part, you know, it was a little stagnant. Um, you know, ball didn't necessarily move, not enough pace, guys moving off the ball. You know, when Kevin gets the ball in the post or has it in the high quad, uh, you know, we got to do a better job creating space for him um, and, uh, you know, moving off the ball. Christos Saltas with Sport DNA in Greece. Hello, Joe. How pivotal for you as a team is to start well the game seven, to set the tone from the first minute of the game? And what do you need to do to set the tone from the first minute? Uh, I mean, it's all or nothing at this point. So this is um, obviously the biggest game of our season at this point in time. And, uh, you know, we're fortunate that, that we have home court, go back. We have great energy um, in the Barclays, unbelievable fans. So, um, yeah, it's, it's extremely important to come out and, and start the game well. Last question, Leonardo Torres with El Comercio in Peru. Hi, Joe. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Hope you're well. Joe, what positive you can take away from tonight and what do you think the team needs to be more consistent in order to win the game seven? Um, you know, even though we didn't play particularly well, we still battled, um, we're competitive throughout. You know, it was obviously just a run there at the end um, that kind of put it out of reach, but, you know, we had 82-77 and it seemed like things were kind of getting close to turning the corner. So I think, um, you know, from that point of view, uh, obviously a positive, but, you know, going into game seven, I think focus, preparation, all the stuff that, that we've been doing up to this point has to remain the same because guys have been locked in and it's just been a competitive series. I mean, it's been a dog fight this entire time and you can't let the emotional toll of losing this game affect how we play game seven. We got to come out with confidence um, and just let it rip.